We have visitors tonight from another country, don't we? <laughs> Let's find out where they're from. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> okay, get out of here. All right. Uh, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Joel from Transylvania. <laughs> Rika from Transylvania. I see. You're both from Transylvania. <laughs> This is very exciting for me because I've got my new Dracula hair tonight. I got my Dracula hair. Dracula, of course, from Transylvania, yes? Yes, yes uh, based on uh, Vlad Dracul, yes? Vlad Tepes. Vlad Tepes, of course, I feel such a fool. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Uh, are you on vacation in Los Angeles? Yes. yes. <laughs> How is the lighting? Too bright? Everything fine? <laughs> All right. Well, good news. Uh, so you're on vacation then? Yeah. Yes. Um, right now? Right now? Yeah. We've been here for three months. You've been here for three months? Yeah. What have you been doing for three months? We were uh, during the day. We were in Reno. <laughs> We've been in Reno, so there's nightlife there. Oh, all right. You've, oh, you've been in Reno? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that makes sense. No. Well, good news. Uh, we are going to send you to a restaurant if you uh, can answer a question correctly. Uh, CBS is going to send you to a... I think sewer. Sewer, which is a very fantastic, a lovely restaurant. A, a, lo a lot of, you know, uh, go there. <laughs> you, you sick of this crap already? You've been here for a long time. All right, so it's a good restaurant. It's owned by Lisa Vanderpump, who's in the Beverly Hills Housewives of uh, Beverly Hills. Um, she's the, the English one whose name sounds a bit like a... Never mind. Anyway, look. Uh, it's a good restaurant. Uh, you're not vegetarian, are you? No. <laughs> no. Okay, all right, now. Here's the, here's the question. Here's the question. Look, if it's any consolation, I get this about Scotland all the time with the haggis and the kilts. I'm just, you know, offloading some. I understand that not everyone in Transylvania is a vampire. Not everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I am freaking the... I got a map. You are freaking me out. Because you were like... <laughs> I was like... Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's your question. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. <laughs> um, who is the quarterback for the Denver Broncos? Peter Manning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great! You're going to a restaurant! We'll be right back, everyone, with my new class of the Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Kayak.com. Compare hundreds of travel sites at once. Kayak. Search one and done. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
I feel that you have blown me so much away. <laughs> well, you know, with the warm-up comedian, I heard him before I came out. He's like, blow him away. And then I came out and you blew me away. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, have you ever been blown away? Many times. I... Did you feel that the audience blew me away there? Yeah, it was a gust of sexual it, it energy. Certainly... Yeah. It was, I was like standing in a high wind of love. High wind of love. Yeah, I've been there before. Yes, so have I. It's a great day for America, everybody. Here. No, I want a great day for a man in England. There was a man in England. Did you hear about this? Oh, tell me. Very exciting. There yeah. was a man in England who had to be hospitalized because he had a 17-hour erection. Wow. <laughs> After four hours, you meant to call your doctor. Yeah, yeah. Seventeen hours. He was so, he was like, blimey, this is going on a little bit too long, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, this is this is longer than one of them goalless draws at the soccer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seventeen hours. He passed the time in the waiting room playing a solitary game of ring toss. The man says, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he's fine. He is fine. Don't worry. He's fine. Man says he's fine, but he, uh, but I quote, this is what he said. He said, "My penis looks like it's been through the war." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They should make a movie about that. What kind of, what would you call a movie about a penis that's been oh, through uh, the war? war uh, let's see, Inglorious Boners. Inglorious Boners. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's one, Black Hawk Up. I like that. Yeah. Uh, you got one? Yeah. Full Metal Whack It. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's, right, that's, right, that's good. Right. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Right, now, it is, of course, uh, Columbus Day today, everybody. Happy Columbus Day, a very controversial holiday, of course. Every year it forces us to ask very serious, introspective questions like, uh, is the post office open? Is yeah. it the DMV? Is the DMV open? Yeah, yeah. Are any of these... Is this show on? Are we doing this now? People care less about that, I, understand. Than, I think. I understand. Anyway, also, it's also Canadian Thanksgiving, so uh, happy Canadian Thanksgiving, Canadian. <laughs> really? Canadians? Uh, if you were real Canadians, you wouldn't have drawn attention to yourself. <laughs> You'd be like, hmm, that's us. Anyway, <laughs> Canadian families gather around the dinner table, they carve up the hockey puck, they... they <laughs> Uh, today was the Canadian Thanksgiving Parade. The giant float was magnificent. Do we have a picture of the giant float? There it is. Look at it. <laughs> now, here's the thing. That, that's not actually a float. That is actually William Shatner. Look at that again. He's being, he is being held up by tiny Canadians who are holding, right. holding tiny little Cana French Canadians. They are, they are smaller than regular Canadians. That's right. That's right. Regular Canadians are just like you and me, but <laughs> French Canadians are, oh, they're very little. They're small, they're like, no, we're not small. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Look down here when you are talking to me. <laughs> No, it's uh, just a thing. Anyway, uh, today's Thanksgiving Canadian. I guess tomorrow is Canadian Black Friday, where everyone crams into the mall and... <laughs> and politely waits their turn to shop. <laughs> it was an ex Were you at the big thing last week? Oh, uh, I was there, yeah. Yeah, well, where were you? I wasn't oh, there. Yeah, it was last something. week was the, uh, the big fundraiser for uh, President Obama, hosted by Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> Posted at her house. <laughs> and people say Obama never reaches out to the inner city. I mean, there he is. <laughs> going to the women's house. Come on, man. Was it good? Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I had a nice time. Nice chat with the president. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> what were you talking about? I can't, I can't say right All right, yeah. <laughs> a fundraiser at Gwyneth Paltrow's house is actually a good idea for the president. He found the one person in America with lower approval ratings than his at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> the Gwyneth Paltrow uh, told the president... He was, the, he was so handsome, she couldn't speak properly. <laughs> I'm like, I wish Obama would get a little bit more handsome so she would shut the <laughs> up forever. How's that? Yeah. How's that okay? Yeah. Oh, this is my opinion. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cause, because Americans disagree with me? What? Wow. You know, everyone in America is like, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad yeah, idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. 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 
Anyway, Gwyneth Paltrow's neighbours were very upset about the fundraiser because they didn't know about it beforehand. And I'm like, wow, the first time in six months the Secret Service managed to actually keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, people that can have me killed. Yeah. <laughs> was that wise? I don't know if that was wise. No, no, you're, listen, we're, we're off the air, so nobody's... You're going to yeah. be fine. You're going to be this fine. Is, this is kind of a secret show. It's a secret show, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. Has been for a long time. Yeah, America's best kept secret. America's this best show, kept yeah. secret. This show and what else? Just this show. Just this show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. Do you want to you want to finish? <laughs> <laughs> what are you proposing? I'm just you know I'm good. I'm just getting tired, so you can go ahead and finish. <laughs> This is our big Columbus Day Transylvania special, That's isn't right. it? That's right, yeah. yeah. It's where everything must go. Got it. It's, it's all on sale, 50% off. 50% off. What we want to do is drink your blood. Uh, that was good. That was good. It must get really annoying if you're from Transylvania and people like me, jerks like me, always say, oh, I want to drink your blood, all that stuff. It'd be almost like if you were Scottish and people come up to you and go, oh, how a Shrek party, donkey, yeah. all right? That's true. That's true. Yeah. I mean, you know, but if you're Transylvanian and you come to this show, you know, there's a lot at stake. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Well, I tell you one thing, if you're Transylvanian and you're going to go to any show, it's going to be a late night show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to you're not going to head out to to see Ellen. That's not the place for you. Well, you you could. I mean, you could. Oh god, it's, it's not against Ellen. She's lovely She's woman. Fun. That's not She's the fun. point. I understand. It's on during the day. During the day. That's what I meant. I understand. But you can, you know, there's ways around that. You can sunscreen and things like that. <laughs> Screen can't protect vampires? What? Yes. What universe are you living in, reanimated gay skeleton yeah. corpse? They make the S SPF, you know, 10,000 or something like that. They make that for those people. Yeah. I thought SPF 10,000 was the stuff that Carrot Top used. Yeah, that's Even right. Oh, no, that's something else entirely. Okay. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from the Amerigo Vespucci of late night, Craig Ferguson. Yeah. Tweets will set you free. Try Sarah's on Twitter. Tweet the night with me. Check the tweets. And also email. And email. Email time again. This is uh, from Ali in Manhattan Beach in uh, California. But look, look, look. Oh. What the hell? What are you doing in Manhattan Beach? <laughs> um, Alex says, Craig, do you give out awesome Halloween candy out your house or ju just cheap crappy stuff? I, I just pretend I'm not home. Yeah, you do that. Every year you do that. Every, Every year. Every year it's like, hey, 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 hi, it's that guy that's on TV, the weird guy. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm like, Is that, is that how people trick or treat? They go, hey, hey, hey. I like yeah, that. Yeah. All right. I, I live in West Hollywood. I understand. What can I, tell you? I understand. They're all like, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> trick or treat. What's wrong? He's pretending he's not home again. 
This is from David in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. He says, Craig, are fancy colourful socks the new fashion trend or are you ahead of the curve? Yeah, I'm ahead of the curve. <laughs> Do you know what I would like to be? I'd like to be a guest judge on Project R Runway. That's oh, that would I'd be like. great. That would be Not great. for any of the outfits, just so I could be near Zach Posen. Yeah, Zach Posen, yeah. <laughs> I like Zach Posen. I like, he's like, I liked what you did. And then I thought, no, I don't. <laughs> That's good, yeah. He's, that is a talented man, though. He's he very is. talented. He's a great designer, great designer. <laughs> How would he sound? How would he sound trick or treating? Oh, I know. Let's do Transylvanian Zach Post. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I liked what you were wearing, <laughs> and then I thought, no, <laughs> it would be better in black with red lines. Nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hello? Hi, it's Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow? I, uh, I heard you talking about me. I, I didn't mean anything derogatory in any way. Please don't have me dealt with. I was hoping you'd come to my party. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I can't. I, wh when is it? It, it already happened. <laughs> How the hell am I meant to get to the party if it's already ha <laughs> I sound like Liberace. You do sound like Liberace. I was just trying to be supportive, you know. Is anybody home? Is he home? Is he home? Trick or treat. Click. Wow. You make up your mind who's calling. It's Gwyneth Paltrow. All right. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow, amazing. I know, it's amazing she called. Incredible. Who would have known? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, you doing? It's uh, Vlad Tepes. Oh, <laughs> Vlad Tepes? Yeah. Uh, you were the, uh, the the inspiration for Dracula? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, just calling in. <laughs> so I appreciate you mentioning my name early at the top of the show. Appreciate that. <laughs> you don't sound very Transylvanian. No, I, I lost my accent a couple years ago. I work in uh, produce now, just shipping. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Hey, uh, I was at your house last year for uh, Halloween. Uh, you it appeared you weren't home. <laughs> No, 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 I, I, I wasn't, I actually wasn't home last year. Oh, okay, because I knocked for hours. I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just kept knocking. I was there for two hours at least. <laughs> so, Vlad, Vlad Tepes. Vlad, Vlad Tepes, yeah, Vlad Tepes. Good, Who would have thought? Guy. Lost his accent. Yeah, well. <laughs> just like me, just like me. Just like you. Just like me. <laughs> Commercial break time? Yeah, we should get out. Okay, let's yeah. do it. Commercial break time. He's a television host, he's a fashion designer, he's a world champion horseman. I had no idea. A horseman, yeah. He's yeah. a horseman. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> this must be very exciting for you. <laughs> Please welcome a great friend of this show, Carson Cressley, everybody. Carson Cressley. You look great, and wow, well, you really you. made a statement with those shoes. Yeah, you know, I was feeling so simple up here, I had to do something down there. Well, you, uh, you look... 
I mean, down all the way down there. I see. Yes. Yes. I, yes. I, it's good to see you. I haven't I, seen you since, oh, oh yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you looked familiar. Yeah, I do like my new Dracula hair. I love the new haircut. Yes, I'm, I'm going for the, the sort of Dracula, but guest judge on Project Runway. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> Dracula with a couture sensibility. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I want to meet Zach Posen, I've decided. I want to meet him. I actually have met him. Have you? Is he yeah. nice? He seems like he's he might be quite nice. very nice. Yes, he seems, he's very nice, very talented, but I like the way he judges. He's like, I thought it was nice, and then I didn't. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He doesn't mince his words. No, no. Well, a little bit. Yeah, okay, yeah. He does he a little bit. He might be a little mince. You know, but I thought in Project Runway it wasn't right. going to work out when Michael Kors left, because I loved Michael Kors. I do, too. Ah, and I thought, because Michael Kors used to do the... Mm. He would do, like, the... It was kind of like, I just smelled something bad. Yeah, like it was a, like... Mm, 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 mm. And that was his signature move, and I thought yeah. it wouldn't be Project Runway without Without that, yeah. yeah. And then Zach came in, and he's like, no. And I was like, fine, everything's it's, fine. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. How are you? Great. What are you doing in town? I'm fantastic. I did this show called Celebrity Name Game Oh, yesterday. that's where I saw you, because oh, I... Oh, my that's, God, it was I, so fun. Check local listings for details. <laughs> it was great. You're good at it. I was, um... I was okay. I was nervous in the beginning because I didn't want to mess up somebody's chances to win big money. Well, that's true. Um, yeah. And I'm, you know, celebrities, I know all the celebrities from like when I was like in like eighth grade or sixth grade. Right. So like if it would have been like Webster, I would have killed. Yeah. But then they're like throwing in well. like Shia LaBeouf and I was like, it's French for steak. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were, you know, and then like Jason Bateman, who's fantastic and totally my man crush, um, yeah, yeah. which is long list of people. Uh -huh. um, uh, he came up and I was like, he was in Silver Spoon. Oh yeah, I remember that. And the yeah. guesser was like 30. I was like, okay, you were in utero during that. Um, <laughs> You know, there's something for that's why it's an interesting game to play because you really see the, uh, how short the attention span of the show business career is. Right. Like you think that someone is really famous and then you realize they are not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I and then my, my name came up as one of the clues. I was like, please get my name right. Right, right. Yeah. People oftentimes confuse me for Carson Daly. And I was like, I've never dated Tara Reid. Uh, <laughs> Yet. Yes. Yet. Yeah. Hi, Tara. Call never me. say never. No, it's maybe. Possible. Maybe. Maybe she'll call. Maybe in. she'll call now. Oh! Why don't you take it? It's still ringing. Yeah. Hello. Hey, how you doing? It's Tara Reed. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I miss you. I miss you too. It's been a long time since we dated, sweetie. You sound. <laughs> you sound just like Jake from State Farm. <laughs> I sound just like Vlad Tepes. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, all right. Okay. All right, Vlad, that's enough. Okay. Okay, fine. I like the phone. I like the phone, too. I like these phones. This, this is another thing you can tell people's ages by. Right. Because if you're old enough, you're not, of course, you're not old enough to remember phones right. like this. But, I, no. But you've probably seen the Three Stooges, right? When of they go, course. Hello, hack and a bush. And then, you know, yeah. or the Marx Brothers in that case. Yeah. But uh, a lot of people, they. Uh, they don't know what that no. is. And they would be like, where's the camera? Where's the camera? There? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's not worth it. It's open. Oh, nice. It only takes black and white. It only takes That's black and white. That's right. Yeah. What else is going on with you? You look great. What's going on with your life? What's oh, happening? Oh, gosh. Um, uh, I'm going to a horse show next week. Oh, you're a world champion horse person. I am, I yeah. I have no idea about yeah. that. Do you I... wear those when you're riding horses? Oh, God, no. No. <laughs> what kind of horse riding do you do? I have saddlebred horses, the same kind that William Shatner has, and sometimes we're in the same classes together. Wow. Yeah. Shatner is the yeah. most awesome Canadian, and that's uh, a long well, list. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that... There was an episode of your show where, like, you rode him around, I think. <laughs> Didn't you? Maybe was that, that on the show? That might that have just might been, have a, just been New Year's that, Eve. I think that, that was, was New Year's Eve. That was that night at Gwyneth Paltrow's yeah. house, as I remember. Oh, God. Were you there last week at Gwyneth Paltrow's house? I wasn't. Oh, I was, thought you were going to say you were. I was no, going to be frightened. No, God, no. I don't even know her. What? But she's very... I did talk to her at a party one time. Uh-huh. She was very nice. Sure. Yeah. And I did... <laughs> 
I did want to swatch her hair because it's the perfect shade of blonde. Oh. And I was just like, oh, where's this? I just want to get a little piece of the end. To now, that's illegal. People. You can't go up cutting bits of hair you off You can't people. go swatch. No, no, no. That's not allowed. People are no. not swatch catalogs no. for your pleasure. It's not a fabric store. No, no. What about, did you do the AIDS walk this weekend? I did. Here in L.A., 30th anniversary, raised um, millions and millions of dollars. Good for you. And, um, yeah. I, uh, thank you. Um, and when I was walking, yes. like if you're actually, like usually in L.A., you're like zooming through like streets and going down Melrose, but when you walk... Is this a car? That we're doing? Yeah, All right. pretending yeah. to drive. Um, and, uh, no, I was juggling. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you notice things. Like I was walking by, I was like, oh, uh, are, you know, there's a place called like uh, Boutique de Cuticle. And I was like, I've never seen that before. And then it said organic nails. Stop. And I thought, delicious. <laughs> You know, Are you eating? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what an organic nail is. <laughs> but like I'm a, going there. Yeah, I'm going to go tomorrow. Too. We have to uh, take a break. Already? Mm. This is an outrage. <laughs> we'll be right back. of having like the celebrities with the kids. Yes, exactly. Yes. That makes it. Welcome oh. back, everybody. <laughs> well, uh, we're out of time. Already? Well, sort of, kind of. I mean, I'll... the way you and I talk is probably best to say we're out of time now. Right. And, and allow so that to like take its course. Early warning. Yes. Like when you're on a plane, they say, we'll be making our descent. And like an hour later, you're like, I didn't have to wake up yet. Right, right, right. You know. Well, it, the, it's really for the pilot's benefit. Yeah. So that the pilot's like, oh, we they are. All right. Back in there. How yeah. about when you're on the plane and the flight attendants who are amazing like put the bar cart in front of the door and like the captain's coming out to use the bathroom. Right. I'm like, who is flying the plane right now? Oh, the, uh, the other one. Oh, there's two? Oh, yeah, they have. Okay, they got so about half a dozen up there. I was really nervous. And then for they a keep. And, and, and if the, both pilots have to go to the bathroom at the same time, right. it's a little uh, glass uh, cage. Right. And you break it, and a monkey comes out and flies it. A cheeky monkey. Cheeky monkey comes out, and it like. Ooh, ooh, only, yeah. only for a cruise, not for approach to airports. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, no, no. That's when you need somebody that, you know, a bit that's higher up the food chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That but, makes you know, me for feel better. Yeah, monkeys could uh, argue when that. you're just cruising. When you're just cruising, it's always yeah. cruising altitude for me. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm on a plane <laughs> yeah. or at the mall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we are we are out of time. Now that's it. Are you serious? I am. I time know. Time flies it when so you're fun. having a fantastic time. Well, I know. I feel. Well, let's do it again. Yeah, anytime. Call me tomorrow. We could do three days sure. in a row. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, I could leave and then you can tell them that's not really happening. No, no, it's definitely happening. <laughs> oh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Carson Crashley, everybody. guest you will know as the former UFE champion and star of the movie The A-Team, uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson, everybody. That looks like it's a new suit. It's nice. It's actually old as hell. It's old as hell? <laughs> yeah, I don't well, wear it Did you it get much. it pressed? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, they took care of me back yeah, then. Yeah, no, it's I nice. It. You know, what you want to wear with this suit is a pair of leopard skin slippers. Is that right? Like, yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody's doing now. Oh, man. Yeah, you should do it. I didn't know that. Yeah. Now, the last time you were here was for, <clears throat> excuse me, before you fought uh, King Mo. Uh, yeah, remember? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> King Mo, yeah. King Mo. How'd that work out? Remind me. 
Man, it was a boring fight, I think. Cause well, I, it depends on where you were sitting. I uh, mean, I... I he, he was trying to hug me and hug me the whole time, though. Yeah. <laughs> See, now, tell me when that gets boring. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I like to excite the crowd. You know that, man. I like yes, to try right. to knock people out and do stuff, but he was just hugging up on me and, and whipping yeah, in my you, ear. But you time. won. You won. I won. Yeah, I, won. I mean, that the whole, you know. But he, he thinks he won, though. <laughs> well, how hard did you hit him? <laughs> I was trying to knock his block off. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, I know that you guys were pretty mad at each other. Yeah, right? he's yeah. still mad at me, though. Oh, yes? Yeah, he wants a rematch. Well, are you going to do it? If he fights like a man, then I do it, but he don't fight like a man. Don't pull me into this, man. Don't pull me. <laughs> what about movies? Maybe time for some more movies, because, yeah. you know, you, I mean, you can't fight forever. You You're gotta right. figure something else out. You're right. I'm getting old, man. I can't fight forever. No, well, no, nah, you don't get old, but yeah. I mean, you know. I just, I, just did, I just did a movie like a couple weeks ago, uh, Vendelary Diaries. I'm sure I said it wrong, because I cannot pronounce that word. But say it again. Can I whisper it? Yeah, yeah, whisper it. <laughs> Vigilante Diaries. Oh, yeah, 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 I got it. Vigilante Diaries? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. How you, how you know I did that movie? Oh, because I was IMDb. <laughs> I was yeah. looking at you on the yeah. internet. Yeah, yeah, with, 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 Christmas, with Christian Sesma. He's a, a oh, yeah? rising director. I, I love his work. So I, um, he's close friends with uh, my manager. And so we, we did some action scene. I'm like, ah, shoot him up. Bye -bye. Oh, no, we know what you want to do. Not, not that. No, you, um, I like actually, that, no, you did that in the A-team. You, you have to branch out now. You have to do, like, uh, like you know, when The Rock did the Tooth Fairy. That's oh. when you got to do the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> can, you, can you picture me in a tutu, man? Come on, it don't I can't do it. Doing it right now, right? <laughs> Don't do that. All right, all right. Hey, let, let The Rock wear the tutu. I want to shoot people up. I'm no, a big no, 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 You have to do a sensitive, sensitive portrait of a man learning to love again after his heart was broken by his sweetheart. Oh, okay, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as and here's the twist. His sweetheart is the guy he was fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of an idea as well. Uh, well, we get we get King Mo to play the, to play the <laughs> and you guys are like, you know, you hurt me in the ring, and then you hurt me in life, and then you guys figure it out. Oh, that'd be bad. They'd be like that scene in Bad Boys when they was at the video store, kind of like that. that that's, yeah, that scene. Yeah. No, we can't no, do right, that. that. No. No. Okay. We'll probably well, fight for real. Well, what kind of movies do you go and see then? That's the that's the way you should be headed. What, I, what do you I like, like? I, I like action movies for some reason. I you like Liam Neeson. You like? I love oh, Liam Neeson. Too, man. Yeah. Yeah, uh, man. yeah. I can't wait for him to do something else so I can go and go be in it. I always ask. I say, Hey, Liam, man, put me in your movie. He's like, No, Rampage, no. <laughs> then, then he hangs up the phone. He just well, maybe we'll get him on the phone. No. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Here, here, take this. How you use this thing? There you are. It's a... <laughs> No, no, put that to your ear, and then you speak in that bit. There's no camera. Hello, hello. I don't know who you are. <laughs> but, I, but I will find you and make you wear a tutu. <laughs> hey, Liam, I'm not wearing a tutu. Get quickly, the there's no time. Put it on, quickly, there's no time. <laughs> quickly, get out of here. Quickly. Yeah. <laughs> of course. The A-Team with him. Yeah, yeah. That's a great movie. I love that. I that love is it. a great movie. I love that movie. Because when they were going to make it, I was like, how are you going to make it the A-Team movie? And then they did. Yeah, they, they should. I told Joe Carnahan, I said, hey, man, let's make another movie. He said, shut up, Rampage. <laughs> I said, well, let's, let's do a, a B.A. Origins, you know, to tell about the back. The origins of B.A. Yeah, Marcus yeah, is a great that. idea. Yeah, and he hung up the phone in my face, too. Him and Liam, He's just... <laughs> I love Joe Carney. He's a funny guy. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he should make the movie if you want to do it. I go yeah. see it, and you could like shoot people and stuff. Yeah, That'd be awesome. I get to beat people up and shoot people. Yeah, yeah, and then and here's the thing: you're not really doing it, so you don't right. get hurt. I don't. Yeah, and yeah. I don't go to jail. After. You don't go to jail, and you read the script. And you go, oh, I win. Good. All right, I'm yeah. good. <laughs> right. Hey, how about me and you do a movie? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> wait, wait. I'd have to be your little buddy, though. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no. All right. Okay, let's stand up and do it then. Okay, let's right, go. Let's so do, this is go. the movie poster. Okay. You, that, you're the guy, and I'm like this. <laughs> I'd be all right. Yeah, we should, I would do it. Yeah, we, should, we should do the remake of Twins. The remake of Twins. That's yeah. what we do, the remake of Twins. And you can be Danny DeVito's character. <laughs> all right. You know... There is a slight, ah, 
that we can figure it out. They can. Yeah. They got. Good, they got good writers in this town. They can figure they it can out. Figure yeah. It out. Yeah, they can figure it out. Yeah. I think that'd be a good. I'll go watch that movie. I'd go watch that movie too. And that's two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. So, when are you going to fight again, then? Well, you know what? Um, my managers and stuff are talking to um, Bellator right now. We, I know within two weeks. We'll see what's going on. You doing all the business right now? Yeah, doing all the business because you know they had to change over. Yeah, yeah. What, tell, run that by me again quickly. Well, Bellator did a change. They was doing pay-per-views and stuff like that, and then they figured out that uh, free TV was better. <laughs> I don't mind getting the Not always. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't mind giving away the fights free to the fans. I don't mind doing yeah, it so the fans like to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I just I just like taking care of my kids the way I do. I got a couple yeah. of kids that's going to college. Ooh, I gotta man. save up for them. I got two kids that maybe need attorney fees and jail <laughs> bail money. <laughs> So I got so how many kids you got? Four? I got four kids. Four kids. So you got two. Go two. That's pretty good odds. Oh, two college, two to the lawyers. That's yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty, that is your 50% there as a yeah, parent. That's yeah, awesome. That, they're my kids. I love them. Of course. I accept them. I know. I just look at my kid every time he does something. I'm like, man, they got some more money for the attorney. Yeah. So put it I, look at, I look at mine, and I'm not going to say, well, I get two boys. I look at them and go, uh-huh. <laughs> That one, is, it's like two boys. One of them is uh, Captain Kirk, and the other one is Mr. Spock. <laughs> one of them's like, eh, everything's yeah. logical, and the other one just throw down. Yeah. yeah. I know. I got one kid. He's my clone. His name, really? is, his name is Roger Rampage Jackson, and he's my clone. So I can't even get mad at him, because he do the same stuff that I do now. <laughs> I can't even get, he, say, he says something. He says, I'm like, wow. I'm like, man, he says stuff to women. I'm like, son, you can't say that to women. In front of other women. Get about <laughs> They don't like it. They don't like it. Do you know what one of mine did? I'm not, I won't tell you which one, but he was a baby, right? And his mom, his mom had him. He was, like, still in diapers. So he was, like, in the first couple of years, you know. <laughs> and he was, she's changing him in a lady's bathroom. Like this. That lady, and you know the little, the little pop-up tray thing? Yeah. But they, yeah. they change him. She's lying there like that. And she's changing it, and his little pee pee's out, right? <laughs> He's lying like that, and a, and a, a, a good looking woman walks into the lady's bathroom, and his mom tells me he, does this, he just looks at her and he goes, Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Did you take him out for ice cream or something when you heard that? Yeah, I'm oh, like, yeah. No, it's like, you're, you're terrible. You're, mind your manners, young man. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're out of time. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. What's up? It's, it's, it's always fun to see you. I like the way you did. You like the new Dracula I, I like, hair? I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's Dracula. I'm going to do mine like that now. Do it now. No. Okay. <laughs> Quentin Rampage Jacks, everybody. I know what you're thinking, but that's not what it is. I was at the vet today, and he put this thing on me so that I don't bite my own leg. <laughs> yeah. Looks good on you, man. You like it's it? Good. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yes. No nothing says uh, crazy like wearing a cape. <laughs> really, if you think about it. Yeah. Like, you see anybody wearing a cape, you're either magician or crazy. <laughs> or you're going off the air in December, and you just don't care anymore.